this first part of the video is from uh, a riding tour that we took through Yosemite Valley in the first full day that we stayed there. Uh, Yosemite Valley, as you can see, is this beautiful low-lying valley surrounded by these huge granite cliffs um, with the Merced River running right through the middle of it. That big cliff on the right there is uh, El Capitan, one of the largest cliffs in the park, and a really popular with rock climbers. Um, rock climbers frequently take several days to climb it and have to sleep on these little portal ledges that they carry with them up the cliffs. The uh, tour guide pointed out that actually rock climbing is one of the safest things you can do in the park, statistically speaking. Uh, the most common cause of death in Yosemite is uh, getting hit by a car on the street. Uh, second place goes to uh, drownings. Um, sadly, many people get washed over the falls, as we've heard uh, recently about. Mary uh, was just reading articles about two people who recently, in this past year, got washed over the falls from one, you know, their various falls throughout the park. El Capitan again, another view of it. At one point you... And there's Bridal Veil Falls. We'll get a couple more views of that. Um, right here is that we paused here and I got off for a rest stop on the tour, um, and that's the Merced River, River running through the valley, and there's another view of Bridal Veil Falls in the distance, which I'll zoom in for here in a minute. And then this is um, sort of the far end of the tour. We uh, have come out of the valley and up to a tunnel, which you can't see, it's behind us here, um, that leads into the valley so that we can get a good look across the whole valley there. Alright, and here's the closer look at Bridal Veil Falls. We uh, took a short hike up to the base of it. Well, you can't really get all the way to the base of it unless you ignore the warning signs and climb over the drop. But we still got a pretty good look. We saw about half a dozen different waterfalls in the park, but I think there are probably more like a full dozen or more of them. Um, the falls, actually most of them dry up by uh, mid to late summer. They're completely fueled by um, snow pack that, when it melts. All right, and here we're out of the valley. Uh, this is Tenaya Lake, which is uh, about an hour and a half drive from where we were in the valley. We drove up into the mountain so that we could get uh, a look at this gorgeous lake. And uh, as you'll see on the way back, uh, sort of a backside view of the valley. Um, the same same area as we were looking from that big long view from the uh, tour, but looking from a completely different angle. This is still Tenaya Lake when we stopped. I'm sure Simon and Gwendolyn thought we were crazy because we drove about an hour and a half to spend about 10 minutes looking at the lake and taking pictures of it, and then we drove back. 
but it was a beautiful, beautiful drive. Okay, and then this is um, Olmsted Point, which is named after the same Frederick Law Olmsted who participated in the building of Biltmore Estates. And way out there, you can see Yosemite Valley. Those are some of the cliffs that lead to Yosemite Valley. And that peak right there in the center of your view is the Half Dome, uh, which is one of the most uh, recognizable uh, peaks. Uh, from this angle, you can't see it so well, but from the other side, it really looks like a dome that's been cut in half. And this is a hike that Simon and I took up to the top of Vernal Falls. Um, you have to climb over 600 stone stairs, um, these human-made stairs that they've cut into the rock or blasted into the rock. All that little stuff you see in the air is actually mist from the falls, because even though I'm so pretty far away, there's still lots and lots of mist in the air, and as you get closer, the rocks and stairs are really soaking wet. There's a pretty rainbow, and I, before climbing the final bit up to the very top, I took this video uh, where you could get a, link, a view down the whole length of the valley. Uh, or the stream bed from the falls. Unfortunately, I don't have any video for the top from the top of the falls because I switched to using Mary's still camera once I got up there. But you can see some of those pictures in her uh, collection on Google Plus or on Facebook. 